vaporizers, e-cigarettes, some people call them. What are they exactly? What's the main difference between them and real cigarettes? Are they harmful? What do they taste like? What are they? Well, basically, they generally consist of two parts. You have a battery and a cartridge. There's many different kinds of cartridges. You have atomizers, you have cartomizers, you have clearomizers. Eh, that's generally the three basic ones that a lot of people know of. There might be others out there. But um, there's also different kinds of batteries as well. This one happens to be an automatic one. There's also manual ones where you push a button and then that's what gets it going. But the way it works is with your cartridge and your battery, whether you use a button or an automatic one, an automatic one is when you draw in on it. That's actually what turns it on. When it turns on, it heats up a coil that's inside of the cartridge, whether it's an atomizer, cartomizer, clearomizer, whatever. And you there's juice inside of here, you, or liquid, e-liquid. You put it in, and then it heats it up, and it turns the liquid into steam, a vapor. And then at the same time, that's what you're drawing in on. It's that simple. Now, is it harmful? The short answer is no, as long as you don't have any nicotine in your e-liquids, I guess we'll call them. Um, you have a choice to put in uh, nicotine in them generally, depending on what site you go to. Some will um, ask if you want nicotine in it or menthol, whatever. I don't. I'm not interested in that. I just want the flavor. Without the uh, nicotine, basically it's flavored liquid. And it, you might think, oh, well, there's probably harmful chemicals in there, but Eh, even if I, I really doubt. Even if there were, you're not taking it in. You're it's the flavor you're bringing it into your mouth and then just expelling it back out. So it happens like a little red, a red little LED there to signify that it's turned on when you draw on it. Some glow blue. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much 100% healthy as far as my research goes. Again, as long as there's no nicotine in it. And I'm not saying nicotine is really unhealthy. Nicotine does actually have some little benefits here and there. But generally speaking, in large amounts, yeah, it's a poison. It's not good to have too much of it. But again, you don't always have to have nicotine in your vaporizers. You can just say no, which I don't. I have zero milligrams of nicotine inside the liquids that I order. So basically, it's flavored steam. And you blow the steam back out, and that's it. You don't ingest any of it. You don't take in any of it. I don't even breathe it into my lungs. I draw it into my mouth and blow it back out like I would a pipe or a cigar. I, I don't smoke cigarettes. I never have. Uh, I never want to. I just think they're unhealthy. They don't, they don't taste good to me. They're expensive. You go through a billion of them. I'm, I'm not into cigarettes, sorry. Um, but these I really just like because of the flavor. That's really it. I like having a nice flavor, and some people get vaporizers because they want to lose weight or something, which is a great option. It does help a lot of the time for some people, as far as I hear. Like, you get you get nice flavor. You know, you could get... There's all different kinds of flavors, by the way. I probably should have went over this earlier. This one happens to be pumpkin spice cappuccino. There's all different kinds of coffee flavors. There's tea flavors, fruit flavors. There's desserts. I've had a waffle-flavored one, which tastes like waffle and butter and um, syrup. It's, it's really interesting how they manage to get that flavor, but... Some are better than others, some don't taste so good, but you have to look at reviews. Um, but yeah, there's all different kinds of flavors. Almost anything you could probably think of, there's probably a liquid with that flavor. The question is, how good is it? Well, that'll be up to you to find out. But, yeah, people want to lose weight or something, they don't want to take in the calories, but they want flavor of something. A vaporizer can be a good option for that. Some flavors are more full body than others, some don't have much flavor. Of course, it's not going to feel like you just tasted or ate something. It's not going to feel like that. But it's going to feel like you tasted some steam. And no, I'm not showing myself on camera. Sorry, I, I hate being in front of cameras. But yeah, that's basically it. That's what a vaporizer is. Of course, there's all different shapes and sizes. You know, there's this clearomizer, which holds more than an atomizer. I'll, I'll go over this in another video if you actually want to hear me explain what the difference is. But I'm just here to give you the gist of it. They generally screw on manual one turns on like this. They're all different. This one is a, a clear miser. It's like a tank. It holds way more than a little atomizer does. I didn't really put any in there. It's just taking up leftovers. But yeah, that's the gist of it. It's flavored steam that is not harmful to you. And it's, there's nothing wrong with it as far as my research goes and as far as pretty much what everybody says. There is nothing wrong with this. It's flavored steam. You don't take in any of it. You don't... Any, I wouldn't inhale it. Some people do inhale it like a cigarette. 
I'm not into that. Um, it's Steam shouldn't be in your lungs, but it's not nearly as bad as smoke. Smoke can cause cancer because smoke's not supposed to be in your body. Steam is just another form of liquid, or another form of a solid in some cases, because it goes solid, liquid, steam. So there's nothing wrong with it. It does nothing to you. Yeah. It just, it's helpful. It's a hobby for me, not a habit. I don't want to get addicted to it, which I haven't been. I've been vaping for about a year and a half now, off and on. And I'm not addicted to it or anything, because there's, there's nothing to be addicted to, because I don't have nicotine in it. But some people who are transitioning from smoking, this is another point I want to bring up. Vaporizers can be very good for that. Um, you can get, uh, they even have tobacco-flavored uh, juices, if you're into that. And you can get nicotine in it, and you can choose how much nicotine you want in it. So if you're transferring from cigarettes or whatever, you want to stop smoking, vaporizers can help with that. Get a flavored one that's flavored like a cigarette or something, or any flavor, doesn't matter. But get the nicotine in there, because that's what they're craving. And over time, it transitioned to less and less nicotine. And then I've, I've heard many stories where this actually worked. I didn't experience it firsthand because I've never been to a situation where I had a family member, someone who wanted to stop smoking, give them a vaporizer. I haven't personally seen it happen, but I have heard many stories of it working. And people I know, their friends, uh, had it worked on them. So I do know for a fact it does work. It won't work all the time, but that's another good thing about us. So people want to lose weight. People want to stop smoking. That's a good thing. And then you have people who just want to get into the hobby. Maybe you just want a flavor, but you don't necessarily want to really eat anything, or you like the whole fact that steam goes everywhere. It's really cool. I just think vaporizers are really, really cool. And the steam does not feel exactly like smoke or anything. It's very interesting, but yeah. That's basically it. That's what a vaporizer generally is. It's completely harmless. Of course, there's nicotine in there. The steam is harmless, and you get all different kinds of flavors, and they're wonderful. Technically, you're supposed to be 18 or older to buy them. That some people consider them tobacco products, even if there's absolutely nothing harmful in it, there's no nicotine in the juice, they still consider them to be tobacco products. Eh, that's up to you and your parents if you're under 18 and you want to get it. I'm, I'm not going to judge you for anything. I don't think you're legally supposed to buy them, but it's, it's, it's the catch-22. If you have it, there's no law against vaping. There is no law against someone underage vaping. There's no such thing as underage vaping. There is such a thing as underage buying a vaporizer or e-cigarette type things, but... Yeah, just throwing that out there. But yeah, that's what a vaporizer is. So, that's it.